Shalom, shalom, everyone. So this class is on the Zerashim Shon Parshat Miketz. Um, this class is dedicated for the neshama of the Zerashim Shon, Rabbi Shimshon Chaim Nachmani, Ben Rabbi Nachman Michal Nachmani, for the neshama of Chaim Ben Moshe, uh, for the neshama of Yosef Ben Nuriel, and Michal Ben Meir. So what's been going on in the book of Genesis so far? In these past few parshas, um, the Torah is talking about Jacob, and his children, and now it's coming to the story of Joseph. Um, it was stated in last me- in last week's Torah segment that Joseph was thrown in the pit by his brothers, and he accused his brothers of uh, various sins, uh, one of them being uh, actually one of the seven Noahide sins, which is eating from a live animal. And... Uh, The brothers didn't really take too kindly to Joseph's actions, and after all said and done, they decided to throw him into the pit. So in this week's Parsha, Pharaoh says to Joseph, and here's the quote, Since God has informed you of all this, there can be no one so discerning and wise as you. You shall be in charge of my palace, and by your command shall all my people be sustained. Only by the throne shall I outrank you. So there seems to be a disconnect between Joseph's punishment, um, which was him being sold as a slave, and his subsequent promotion um, by Pharaoh to becoming the second most powerful uh, person in the land of Egypt. So one would think if being sold as a slave was his punishment, then you would think that after he would repent and his repentance was accepted, then he should have been granted freedom from slavery. Um, Not that he be offered the position of royalty by Pharaoh. So what's going on here? Um, Comes the Zerashim Shon to tell us that by Yosef's promotion to royalty, to being promoted to the second in command, Hashem was giving his nation a sign that their exile would ultimately be a positive thing for them. And that after their redemption, they would not only be set free, but would rise meteorically to greatness just as Joseph did. The Zerashim Shon then goes on to quote the sages that the nation of Israel merited receiving the Torah, entering the land of Israel, and going to Olam Haba, all due to having experienced the Egyptian exile. And this is stated in Shemot Rabbi, uh, Shemot Rabbi Yifei, and Yefei Torah. So, why was that? And the reason that's given is because that the Egyptian exile is going to serve as a way to purify um, the nation of Israel for the future. As it says um, in the book of Devarim, Hashem has withdrawn you from the iron crucible. So the brothers removed Joseph from the pit with the intention of selling him into slavery, where they intended he would remain for the rest of his life. The Almighty, the Creator, he, however, had other plans. He turned everything around to the point where Joseph was appointed ruler, hinting to the brothers that the nation of Israel would also emerge that much stronger after their long and protracted exile in Egypt. And that's this week's um, class on the Zer Shimshon. I hope everyone has a great and happy Hanukkah. And uh, may we all merit to see um, miracles in our lives. Um, And uh, Shabbat Shalom. Until next week.